Another good day, time to go for a ride. First we sit down. <clears throat> then we turn the key for power to the motor. Switch on the switch for the 12 volt system. Press this button. The Bluetooth device is reading music. To activate music. Select the right song and time for the ride. Indicators to the right. The brake. Have you ever seen a super reliable electric scooter? Because I have that electric scooter. Yes, it's a DIY electric scooter, but it's super reliable and it comes with all these bonus features as you can see it has two 12 volt led lights for extra visibility when you're riding at night a car horn so they can hear you coming a built-in sound system as you can see it has two speakers located near the handlebars so you, you can listen to your music it comes with side leds for extra visibility and leds at the bottom as well comes with an led antenna so people are gonna see you from kilometers away it has a lot of leds from side underneath and on the top it has 48 volts of deep cell power a thousand watts of motor power a motorbike chain a step down which steps down the voltage from 48 to 12 so it can power all these 12 volt electronics it comes with indicators brake lights and daytime running lights all these things are just bonuses what makes it so great is that it only has a thousand watts of power but it manages to achieve 60 kilometers per hour max speed with a maximum range of 30 kilometers 30 and it's super reliable. These things are what makes it so great. And what makes it even better is that it's running on 48 volts of lead acid power. Lead acid batteries are super heavy, but it still manages to achieve such range. That's what you call a reliable scooter. What I also noticed about electric scooters is that when you ride it for a long time, the tires wear out and you'll have to pay money to get those tires replaced. But this electric scooter runs on recycled tires from kids' bikes. So you can easily just find a bike that has been thrown away and just harvest the tire and rims which means you'll never have to pay money on replacing the tires as you can see that's what you call a reliable scooter and not only does it come with the car on it also comes with the bike bell just in case you don't want to like annoy people or scare them. So this one powers your 12 volt system. So 
once you switch this on the step down will switch on so now the step down is on so all the electronics are powered the key activates the motor the power to the motor so now the speed controller is on this switch activates your side leds and the leds on the bottom and then this activates your headlights and your tail lights this is your indicators which actually work as you let me demonstrate look at that the indicators are on they actually work then this is the car one <laughs> Then, so the feature that I gave the scooter is that when the key is not in, I can still run the electronics. Because what's the point of using a key just to power the electronics? The main security feature is the motor itself. So basically you can have your headlights on, you can actually play the music, and you don't have to worry about switching it off or leaving the keys in it's super super safe and secure so once you put the key in the motor is activated and you can cruise away now to switch on your music you just press this button the bluetooth device is ready hold it to music. for the sd card select through your music Then to switch it off, you just press this button. Power off. Just like that. Now, not only does it come with music built into it, an audio system that you can listen to your music anytime you want, but it also comes with its own security system. So if you press the red button, alarm on. The alarm is on. Now, if I move the scooter around, don't pass the car. Don't pass <laughs> the car. Don't pass the car so fun okay <laughs> alarm off that's what's so great about it now its reliability is great because i have been riding this electric scooter for years now it's not a new thing that i built and it has been going strong it has not had a structural problem or a mechanical problem the scooter is made out of wood that is varnished as you can see this is plywood and it's reinforced with wood at the bottom these are the wood screws the screws that hold the two things the two uh, pieces of wood together so the plywood is held together by these uh, bolts and it's glued with wood glue so the two pieces of uh, wood are glued with wood glue and they are held together by these bolts um, this is the amplifier for the speakers right there what else can I tell you oh let me show you all the wiring so if I take the scooter and put it on its side like that that's the wiring so as you can see right there, that's what allows you to, let's say something breaks, you can easily replace it. Then we have these. These are for your underglow lights and your side LEDs. Yeah, so this is all the thing. So this electric scooter only requires, let's say, 5% welding. It doesn't actually require much structural welding. The only thing that needs to be welded is this uh, sprocket for the motor. So this chain can work, this motor bike chain. So 
all you do is you take the old sprocket and you weld it onto the bigger sprocket so the chain can work and a motorbike chain one it's super strong two it's super quiet so it's not that loud now let me take you on a cruise to show you how great this electric scooter actually is riding the electric scooter is actually quite simple so it has a seat right there so all you do is just put your leg across and just sit down like that and then you're ready to cruise now there's two riding positions if or if you have long legs you can put your legs on the foot pegs in front like that but if you have flexibility you can actually uh, fold your legs right there on the deck so basically how it works is you just fold your legs like that like this The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Music.
getting dark. Visibility is getting low. But I do have a way to solve that. Yes, it speaks for itself. Switch off my headlights. Now I have side LEDs. I can switch off the side LEDs and switch on the headlight. Still have tons of visibility. Thank you for watching. Please consider liking or subscribing. Hope to see you in another video. Thanks for watching.